Welcome to this Windows and Computer Channel and uh, over the uh, last few days we uh, have seen that one of the major updates that Microsoft has pushed for 1903 um, is buggy and a lot of people are reporting uh, some problems but the biggest one, uh, the biggest problem is people are reporting that their CPU usage has uh, soared to uh, like a hundred percent the computer is like being used really a lot and um, if you actually look at the task manager by going on your taskbar, right clicking and going to the task manager, what you see is that there's something called search UI. And in the CPU usage, if you see your CPU usage is very, very high, uh, you know, above 50% all the time and you're doing nothing, you will see something called search UI in here that is probably clogging your CPU. So a lot of you have been actually seeing this and that's where um, things are kind of a problem. Uh, it's sad because it seems that Microsoft did something that they did in the past and that they're paying for once again. Very, very uh, small check of the update. They sent it to release preview. It didn't stay there long and it was pushed really quickly. They, of course, were bitten by the fact that they went too fast to push this update. It's not the first time this happens and it's really annoying. So if you are hit by that problem, uninstall the update. It's an optional update. Like I said, um, you simply need to go to your settings. In your settings, you will actually go to update and security. Here in this, go to view update history. You will see that the update that he pushed, which is um, KB4512941, this is what was the installed update, and this is the one that causes problems. You have a button at the top that says uninstall updates. So what you want to do is just remember that it's this number, 4512941. Go to uninstall updates, and you'll see it here at the top. Click that. Click the uninstall button. It's going to ask you to restart your PC. And normally things will be back to normal after you do this. Of course, that also means that if you check for updates, that optional update will still be there, but at least you actually can leave it there and not install it. Now, next week, uh, September the 10th, it's going to be Patch Tuesday. And any uninstalled update usually will install with that Patch Tuesday update. So we're going to see through the week what's going to happen but you do have the possibility to pause updates if you wish. So you can pause updates for seven days or um, you know you can even go into the advanced options and pause updates, select a date for the uh, pause and you have up to, as of now, right now, Monday, October 7th for uh, an update pause. So maybe you want to wait for that to happen because Honestly, um, if that's not fixed, that means that with the Patch Tuesday updates of next week, even though I don't like the idea of having Patch Tuesday updates um, deferred because of the security reasons, um, you might have the same problem again. So um, here's the fixed, temporary fix for now. Maybe you could pause updates for a while. Uh, this is unacceptable, honestly, and then the... Uh, when you look at the uh, the way things are happening, and um, I think that Microsoft really needs to do something about it because this is clearly unacceptable that we have updates that are of this bad quality pushed to us because they didn't test it enough. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.